In this particular video, we are going to understand two to three pictures. The first would be the picture B here, which shows the cross section of the cochlea through the modulus. And here we can see one, two, three, four, four tube like structures from, from where it comes in. The second picture would be one of the sections that is the cross sectional view of the cochlear duct. The third picture would be the cross sectional view of the cochlear duct emphasizing the organ of Cotti in the scala media. So these pictures are very commonly published out in books of radiology. We will start up with a short model. We know that the vestibular system came up first and the cochlea was connected to this. So this is the vestibular system, the vestibuli, three semicircular canals, the oval window, the round window which is there on the vestibule, the stapes which is on the oval window. Connected to this is the cochlear duct. We keep it here. This model shows the enlarged portion of the organ. It is this part. So here we can see we have the basal membrane in yellow, the retinous membrane in orange, the scala vestibuli, scala tympani, scala media. If this is to be visualized, it coils around the modulus here. Now we try understanding this in form of a model. Let's say we have the basal membrane here of the cochlea, the yellow basal membrane, yellow basal membrane, the orange retinous membrane, the orange retinous membrane. The scala media space, let's represent it with the help of the color with which the outer hair cells have been made. That's the color pink. The pink comes in between. And the fluid which is in the scala vestibuli and the scala tympani, that's the pedal lymph in blue. So, the tube represents out the fluid, the perilymph in the scala tympani and the scala vestibuli. We cut it open like this. We can see three colors, the basal membrane, the outer hair cell or the organ of corte represented by pink and the retinous membrane represented by orange. The cochlea duct spirals around a bony shelf known as the modulus. So let's say this is the modulus around which the cochlea duct would be spiraling. Basal membrane towards the base. The cochlea duct goes around one turn, two turns, and two, three by four turns. So we have the cochlea duct spiraling around the modulus. We can take the vestibular system, attach it to this point. This is how the 2 3 by 4 turn cochlea is attached to the vestibular system, coiled around the modulus. To understand and appreciate out the diagram B, we take off the vestibular system. place the cochlea around the modulus. We want to show the cross section through the cochlea showing cochlear duct coiling around the modulus. The center of the modulus is hollow and leads to internal auditory meatus. So modulus, cochlear duct coiling around the modulus, 
and we need to see where the internal artery meatus is and the center of the modulus which is hollow so we cut open the cochlear duct it's cut open as we cut open the cochlear duct here we can see we have these colors which are coming up we find the basilar membrane basilar membrane in yellow we find the organ of corti which was represented with the color pink as the outer hair cells were represented so the entire thing which is the organ of corti and the scala media actually is represented out by pink the rational membrane orange the perilymph which is there in the scala vestibuli by blue and below by blue again to understand it better especially when it comes to understanding figure 2.25 which shows the cross sectional view of the cochlear duct exposing of the scala vestibuli scala media and scala tympani as well as the pectoral membrane we take another cross section this picture shows the cross section through the cochlea showing the cochlear duct coiling around the modulus the center of the modulus is a hollow that leads to the internal auditory meatus to explain this we have used out this particular model the hollow portion of the modulus and this is the hollow portion of the modulus which we can see that there is a yellow segment which has two blue segments around them the yellow segment is the membranous labyrinth and contains the endolymph while the blue segments are the hollow within the bony labyrinth and contains the perilymph the top portion if you see here the top portion is the section of the scala vestibuli and the bottom portion is the section of the scala tympani the basilar membrane here and the resonance membrane that is the top portion here of the yellow portion the basilar membrane here harbors the organ of corti the organ of corti gets its nerve supply ejects out nerves as well as gets the blood supply through a canal in the osseous spinal lamina known as the rosenthal canal so this is the canal known as the rosenthal canal uh, and the pink color is the osseous spinal lamina once the nerve fibers exit out the rosenthal canal they come into the central canal of the modulus they collect these red fibers are the nerve fibers which have come out from the organ of cortis of the different turns and they form the spiral ganglion here in purple the spiral ganglion now it ends out here and the spiral ganglion ejects out the auditory vestibular nerve in orange which is inside the internal auditory meatus the hollow of the modulus collects out nerves from each duct of the cochlea and forms a ganglion known as the spiral ganglion so here you can see the spiral ganglion so there is a ganglion which is formed which is known as the spiral ganglion from the spiral ganglion begins the internal auditory meatus inside which we have the eighth cranial nerve so the eighth cranial nerve which is known as the auditory vestibular nerve is inside the internal auditory meatus shown here and the nerve represented in the color orange if we look at the next picture which tries showing the cross sectional view of the cochlea duct emphasizing the organ of corti then we have to zoom into the picture on the table on the model on the table 
the model this model represents out the basilar membrane in yellow the organ of corti which is inclusive of everything on the basilar membrane with the color pink and the rashnas membrane in orange so these are the things represented out this is the modulus or the bony core the bony core around which the cochlea takes turn we have the rashnas membrane the rashnas membrane above which is the scala vestibuli the scala vestibuli the bone this is the bone in white the stria vascularis stria vascularis which maintains the fluid inside the scala media the scala media which is filled with endolymph the limbus the limbus connected to which is the tectorial membrane this is the tectorial membrane below which is the reticular lamina reticular lamina as we come down we have two major hair cells the first is known as the inner hair cell the next is known as inner hair cell and the next is known as three rows of outer hair cells row one row two row three we have one two three four four varieties of supporting cells which are which are known as the claudius cells claudius cells in white the henschen cells henschen cells in orange the dieter cells the dieter cells in gray and other supporting cells supporting all the inner hair cells as we can see here the inner hair cells do not touch the tectorial membrane while the outer hair cells the kinocilia of the outer hair cells are embedded inside the tectorial membrane the rods of corti the tunnel of corti the habenula perforata the rosenthal canal and the spiral ligament which holds the basilar membrane so the organ of corti is referred to as these set of organelles which are on the basilar membrane represented in yellow